Welcome back to training camp tonight. Well, a couple of guys we've seen getting reps with the ones so far this training camp include Nick Vanette, the offseason free agent signing at the tight end position, as well as Josie Jewell, who has stepped up at that right inside linebacker position in the absence of Todd Davis. The two of them met with the media after practice today to share how they plan to fit in to Pat Shermer's offense and Vic Fangio's defense. It's kind of new for everybody, you know, like we got a new OC in here. Everybody's kind of, you know, along the same learning curve. Um, and I've noticed drastic changes every day. Um, I think we're improving in different areas every day. Um, we're competing, which is what you want to see from a football team. And, uh, you know, we, we, we're just bringing energy to practice. And you know, that's one thing that is pretty vital to like a young team like us. You know, we just got to make sure we have that energy every day, make sure we're building that chemistry and learning plays and make sure we're on the same page as much as possible. And that's what I'm seeing so far. And I'm, it's firing me up. Um, I think the thing with me is that like, I just, I guess like each year I've gotten better at my quickness, gotten better at running routes, uh, added some speed. Um, and I think this year is like, this is a, by far the best I've felt. And I feel more like a receiver, more athletic where, you know, I can run these routes that these other guys can run. And, you know, that, that's my goal, you know, just me coming to a new team like this. And I just want to – it's almost like another chance to reprove myself as a player, you know, that I'm not just a blocker. You know, I can go out and I can I can run crispy routes. I can get matched up and create some separation, make a play. Um, and I'm just trying to display that as much as I can. This is my fifth training camp, and I can honestly say that from top to bottom, this is the most competitive room I've ever been in. Um, you, got, you got guys who can do it all, and – um, and not to mention, I mean, they're, they're, they're great football players, but they're some of the best guys I've been around. And I just – I've had a ball being, being here so far. And, I mean, it's going to be anxious. To, I'm, I'm going to be anxious to see what's going to happen uh, for our room and for this team because um, the things I'm seeing right now, I mean, it's I'm, – I'm getting pretty excited just to think about what's going to happen down the road. We always want to move up the ladder the right way by just beating people out. Um, but, you know, whenever Todd's back uh, healthy and stuff like that, um, that'll be nice because you know my role I see it as uh, whatever coaches see it as but you know I'm just trying to work hard every day um, and hopefully become um, you know within the next year you know whatever it is become a starter again uh, I mean that's my main goal I want to start on defense yeah I love special teams yeah I love all that other stuff really whatever gets me on the field but at the end of the day I want to be consistent enough um, to be on the field and be playing defense and being with the ones and starting so really, that's that's my hope. Um, that's my goal here for the short future and for the long future, um, for however long football lasts for me. So I mean, it's just it comes back to hard work, um, toughness, and really communication is huge. I mean, those are the three big things I'm trying to do right now. Is you know every play I'm trying to work the hardest worker out there, um, and you know I'm just trying to communicate out there with everybody. And you know when you communicate on the football field, you're not only communicating with the person next to you; you're communicating with yourself. You get out there, and you want to be the guy that's talking all the time. You want to be the guy that's, uh, you know, you're you're the linebacker, you're the person telling where people line up and stuff like that. And really, just be able to work hard every single play. I can't wait to see what roles those two guys will play for this team this season. But now, for even more reaction to today's full speed, full padded practice, let's send it over to Matt Boyer, who is standing by with the Hall of Famer Steve Atwater. Thank you, Alexis, down here at 27 Hall of Fame Plaza with the Pro Football Hall of Famer Steve Atwater. Steve, we heard from head coach Vic Fangio. Only about 65 healthy bodies out there for training camp. Not the number that we are expecting or usually see out here at training camp. A lot of opportunities for guys. What did you see out there that you liked? Yeah, well, that was a low number of guys <laughs> practicing. Uh, guys kind of uh, nursing some muscle tissue injuries, uh, some other injuries that are more serious. Uh, but I, th I thought the guys got a lot of really good work in today. They had full pads on, some some thudding, some wrapping up. Uh you know, both offensively and defensively guys making plays. I think they got better today. We heard from Nick Van Nett and Josie Jewell earlier. I want to get to Jewell for a second because I thought he said something interesting about thinking too much. He was last year often thinking about his assignment where his leverage was, and that wasn't allowing him to play free. Is that a common problem when you've got a guy like Jewell, a second- or third-year guy, an inside linebacker with a lot going on? Yeah, well, the thing he has to do is get in that playbook more and understand all the nuances, all the adjustments that can be made. And th there is a limited amount of things that can happen in a play. And once you have those things down in your mind, then you can react uh, a lot more quickly. And, uh, you know, if, if you're thinking too much, 
that's because you don't know the defense as well as you should know it. Uh, so he's like, get in the playbook more, get it down to where it's all just uh, he's reacting. Is that the message for a lot of these younger guys that are going to see opportunities? We see a lot of the wide receivers getting more reps. We see those inside linebackers getting more reps. Is it a matter of getting into the playbook? What do they need to show these coaches? Because as Coach Fangio mentioned, we're about 19 days away from, uh, from the final cut. Yeah, well, I, I believe what the coaches want to see, one, that you are disciplined enough to go back and make sure you put the – time in and, and study the playbooks to know what you're doing when you get on the field. The last thing they want to see is a guy going up to the line of scrimmage and then come back. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, I forgot to play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you get out there. And then they, they know that it, there are going to be some mistakes early on. But as you go, as you do the play over and over again, they want to see that improvement. They, they know it's not going to be perfect in the beginning and they'll give you, they'll, they'll give you a break for that. But as, as we get on later in camp, they expect those those mistakes to be minimized. Yesterday, we saw practice on cards, a lot of scout team stuff. Today, a more traditional training camp practice. So for the A-list today on offense, who do you like? Well, Deshaun Hamilton, he was making plays. Uh, he had a touchdown pass. He bobbled it a little bit. I'm a like, little bit oh, please hold on. <laughs> and he held on to it, uh, made, made a great catch, but he made several other really nice catches. Uh, man, he, it, that, that wide receiver room is competitive with – uh, Deshaun Hamilton, Tim Patrick, uh, KJ Hamler. It, it's going to be some battles, and uh, you know I'm, I'm anxious to see who's going to be left standing at the end of the day. What's the difference for you in that room? Is it special? Is, could it come down to special teams? Could it come down to who knows the playbook best? I mean, where what are the variables here that you're going to be looking at? Well, yeah, you got to know the playbook. That's if you don't know the playbook, you don't Paramount. have, you don't have a chance. Yeah, right. And then absolutely, special teams are going to play a part, and. Uh, we, we heard from a special teams coach yesterday that anybody who doesn't, who's not a starter, pretty much going to have to play special teams. And uh, we know Tim Patrick, he showed that he could play it last year. I believe Deshaun Hamilton played yep. some last year, but uh, their, their role is going to be very large uh, on special teams. And uh, hopefully they'll do a good job with that. And KJ Hamler as well, once he gets back, but he'll be more on the return side. Coach Fangio mentioned that he's still got a little bit of a ways to work back, working still in the playbook. So even though he's not on the field, those mental reps are going to be important for KJ. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball now. Uh, we talked about inside linebackers. The guy working next to Josie Jewell yes. played pretty well today. Yes, I, I got to give it to Alexander Johnson. Uh, made a couple of nice plays, some some pass breakups, and we know how solid he is up the middle. And, you know, any guy who names himself Dino for <laughs> dinosaur, and I, I like. Well, why dinosaur? Well, because dinosaur eats goats, and goats are the greatest of all time. So if you can eat a goat, you got to be pretty daggone good. So uh, Alexander Johnson, at what is a list today? Nice job. Keep up the great work. It's a pretty clever nickname. Would you have enjoyed playing next to a guy like Alexander Johnson, just a super athletic inside linebacker? Yeah, super athletic guy. Great energy. He's stout in the middle, and that's what you need in an inside linebacker. He, Ty Davis, those guys are like that. When, when, when running backs hit them, they're not going much further. Uh, and uh, he makes the game fun as well. He motivates the guys. And uh, you, you see him with the little T-Rex <laughs> deal that he's doing. And, you know, that, 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 that helps get guys uh, energized and have a little bit of fun out there. And I actually play harder, too. Day off tomorrow for the players. How much did you look forward to a day off during training camp? What did you do? What was your what was your day off routine during training camp up in Greeley? Oh man, go get treatment, ice <laughs> in, the, in that ice tub first. Got got to do get that in, and uh, probably go out to the bar get some get some uh, pizza and uh, some sodas, some Coca Colas. There, there we go, pizza <laughs> and Coca Cola. I like it.